Well, hello everybody. My name is Tom Boone. I'm Associate Director for Mission with the Outreach Foundation, and I am just really uh, pleased, excited to be back in China. Um, and I've got a great team with me, and among those team, one of the people who is is on our team is a team of pastors and and scholar uh, uh, leaders. Um, is is Reverend Alf Halverson? Halverson. Got it's that. close, Tom. Close enough. Okay. Yeah. All right, but you're at Memorial <laughs> Drive. Alf, just tell us a little bit about yourself pastor at Memorial Drive for 10 years and have done some traveling and journeying in other ways, but never been to China, never been to Hong Kong. So this is all new to me. Yeah. And and as you think about the newness of it, has there been something that has surprised you? Yeah. I think I thought this would be completely exotic and completely unrelatable mm. to the United States. But actually what surprised me was in every continent, in every country, God is calling up people. Yeah. And we got to meet in the last few days younger Christians, 40 and younger. And they're asking the same questions that people are asking back right. in the United States. Some started their faith in the heart and are looking to incorporate that to their head. Some started in their head and are looking to incorporate that into their heart. And I, I just think there are universals, but God doesn't cookie cutter everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, they have unique gifts. Some are professors, some are students, mm. some are chemistry teachers, some are engineers, some are pastors, but they're trying to figure out how do I receive the grace and love of Jesus and then somehow share that, somehow spread yeah. that, somehow let the gospel out. I think we really have heard that theme really clear here. And uh, one of the interesting uh, pieces of learning for me anyway has been you know, as we bring that desire to learn more about grace, but in it within a context of Confucianism, where there's a high level of kind of enforced morality, mm. and then if you aren't being this way, mm. uh, you're bringing shame onto your mm. whole family, community. Right. Um, so there's a real need and a thirst for grace mm, uh, yes. and understanding of how God is merciful, even among some of those that we met. We heard two or three students talk about kind of a works righteousness. I was struggling with this. I was striving okay. with this. Yeah. I was doing everything right, but it became such a burden and mm -hmm. I felt kind of weighed down. And then all of a sudden, grace broke through, God yeah. broke through, Christ broke through, and there was kind of a freeing and a releasing and... They want to share that. They do. Because they, they feel like their friends are going through the same thing or their parents are going through the th same thing or their children are going yeah. through the same thing. And kind of this freedom in Christ we all are looking for. Are there, are there any misunderstandings? If you think about going back now to Memorial Drive at some point and um, gosh, it's like, what am I going to, what is that message that I want to take back with me is, and I know that that's still forming, but Definitely. what have you heard so far that this is the compelling thing that I just want my folks at Memorial Drive to hear mm -hmm. about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I think the, I don't know if the easy answer, an answer is definitely courage is required in every um, age. Mm -hmm. And I think some of the brothers and sisters here in their unique challenges are displaying that. Yeah. Uh, so how do we take up that flag? How do we uh, uh, take the risk? Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. That's one aspect. But I think a learning or just a reminder for me is all these young people are saying, I didn't do it alone. I didn't find it alone. I'm experiencing it in community. And I don't know if I would survive without other people. So isolation and loneliness, wherever you are in the globe, is catastrophic. We need yeah. each other. And so whether that's in a house church, whether that's in a coffee shop, whether that's um, in your university setting, it's tough to go it alone. And yeah. we need our other brothers and sisters in Christ. And being together has been huge. Yeah. And we, you mentioned house church, but we're talking back at home, right? Exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah. Churches, wherever they're gathered back home. That's, yeah, my, that's, that's what, what I mean. Need. Yeah. Well, I'll thank you very much for being on this team, um, and uh, thanks for bringing that message. And everybody, thank you for uh, listening in and for praying for us, praying for the Christians in China. Uh, and we'll continue to bring their stories to you uh, uh, the rest of this week and beyond.
Thanks uh, for your leadership. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, listen, you guys are great to lead. I, <laughs> it's easy. Um, thanks all for listening. Bye-bye.